In this video, we demonstrate the components of our approach to modeling and rendering architecture from photographs. The video has three parts. Facade is an interactive modeling system which is used to quickly and easily recover models of architectural scenes from photographs. In Facade, the user first loads in a few images of the architectural scene that is to be reconstructed. These two photographs of a high school building were taken with a calibrated 35mm camera from unknown locations. The user begins the reconstruction by visualizing the building in terms of simple geometric primitives, which are called blocks. Here the user has placed blocks in the scene corresponding to the main structure and one of the protruding bay windows. The user can optionally require the two blocks obey a certain geometric relationship to each other, such as that one block is on top of another, that one block lies flush with another, or that two blocks have the same height. When available, Facade takes advantage of these constraints in its optimization process. Here the user marks edge features in the images and corresponds these edges to their mates in the model. Note that only a section of any particular edge needs to be marked. Typically, the user only needs to mark a subset of the visible edges in any image. The automatic optimization proceeds in three steps. First, each camera rotation is estimated by considering the edges in the model with known orientation. Second, the camera rotations are held fixed, yielding a set of linear equations that are solved to produce an initial estimate of the model parameters and the camera locations. Third, an iterative nonlinear optimization adjusts all parameters of the cameras and the model to find the globally best solution. Our three-stage approach is an important contribution because nonlinear methods alone often fail to converge to a correct solution due to local minima. By adding more blocks and including additional images in the project, the user can model the scene to their desired level of precision. This model consists of 26 blocks recovered from 12 images. The accuracy of the recovered model can be verified by projecting the model into the recovered cameras and overlaying the edges on the original images. Here, the model edges are overlain in blue on the green user-drawn edges, which become largely obscured. Typically, the model agrees with the images to within a pixel. The 3D model of a clock tower on the right was recovered from the single photograph shown on the left. The recovery of a 3D model from a single 2D photograph was made possible by encoding constraints of symmetry into the parametric model. Once the model and the original camera positions are recovered, the photographs can be reprojected onto the model. Here we see four of the original images projected onto the high school model using a shadow buffer algorithm to correctly predict the model's self-occlusion. We can combine all 12 of the images using view-dependent texture mapping to render the entire model. Some trees and interposed buildings were masked out of the original photographs by the user to produce this rendering. Occluded regions are filled in automatically from other images or by using a simple hole filling algorithm when no other image is available. Interesting architecture often has elements that would be tedious or challenging to model with simple geometric primitives. For example, the facade in these four photographs, although basically planar, has too much geometric detail to be convincingly modeled as a flat surface. Projecting the four photographs onto the flat model registers them in a way that makes it easier for a stereo algorithm to determine how the actual facade deviates from the model. Shown in fast motion, we see that projecting the photographs onto the model also makes it easier for a person to perceive the facade's three-dimensional structure. This is because the projection compensates for both the disparity and the foreshortening between the images. This animation shows the results of recovering the facade's unmodeled structure with stereo correspondence and creating novel views with image-based rendering and view-dependent texture mapping. The four depth maps used in this rendering have not been hand-corrected in any way. In comparison, traditional static texture mapping produces a less convincing result.